Hello! We, as in me, <laughs> are doing something a little different over the next three days. I am trying the rice diet. Have you heard of the rice diet? Now, not doing it to its fullest extent, which is typically one week up to 30 days or until you hit your goal weight. I am taking phase one, which is supposed to be for one day and doing it for three days. And I'll explain a little bit more about that here in a little bit, but I have some groceries. I have a little bit of meal prep that I need to do. And I'm gonna take you through the next three days of what I eat, how my workouts are, and the reason I'm adding the workouts in is just to see if this way of eating enhances my workouts or makes me feel sluggish. I think that's really important to keep and I and to monitor your energy and for me running in working out is a daily thing and I think it's really good to give that feedback in case you all have wondered about the rice diet and you want to try it of course always know your body and talk to a professional first before you do that yada 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 don't take some youtubers advice but we're gonna do the rice diet again we <laughs> as in me because I don't know if you're doing it with me but that's what we're doing for the next three days Let's go check out my little grocery haul and then let's get on with the next three days. Three pounds of rice, which should last me three days. At least that's my goal. Three large peaches, five bananas, three packs of raspberries, three Honeycrisp apples. This is not a lot of food. I have more food on hand. I have more rice and I do have from some frozen fruit but I wanted to pick some things up, like I said, to have on hand to start, and I'm gonna meal prep. And I think I have some delicious meals that are really gonna be surprising, and I feel like getting creative with one starch is like my specialty. So let's take these lovely ingredients and see what we can make. Okay, day one. My workout was brutal. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Energy's really high, which I always expect on day one of any kind of challenge, whether it's the 50-50 plate or I'm doing like a Mary's Mini with potatoes or the oatmeal diet. I feel really good. I don't anticipate this energy to stay the next two days because everything I'm eating is a quick carbohydrate. There's not a lot of fiber, not a lot of fat to really satiate me. So my plan for it tonight and moving forward is because you saw what I meal prep for the week and what I've had so far today is I'm gonna make a smoothie rice banana and orange juice and then tonight I'm just gonna make a big pot of warm rice and I'll make that tomorrow night and the next night so that way I have something warm because that does help yes the rice I've been eating is warm but just having some warm fresh rice with like really good starches I think will be really satiating. And I'll have it with like some savory seasonings and probably omit the fruit altogether. So today I did a really quick run and then I did a workout with Sydney Cummings. I did a leg workout, I'm doing her Arise program. I've talked about that a few times. Really enjoy her workouts. If you haven't checked her out, I highly recommend it. She's here on YouTube, her programs are completely free. So many of you love them as much as I do and I've just started her workouts a few weeks ago. But I'm gonna go get ready and actually wanna take you with me. Get ready really quickly because I have something I wanna show you. I am super pumped to let you know that this video is sponsored by Lumi and they have an amazing deal for you. I'm gonna share with you my Lumi products and how I, how much I love Lumi, but go ahead and check out the link in my description box. Use my code Miranda. I'm giving you, my viewers, the most insane discount that like I'll be ordering from my own link because the discount is so crazy. But I wanna share with you my Lumi products. Get ready really quick and get going because I got a busy day and I got a lot of rice to eat. <laughs> When Lumi asked to partner with me on a video, I was so excited because I've used them for almost a year. These are the current scents that I have. My favorite is the Peony Rose. It is amazing. This is the cream in the stick form, which is my preference. And then this is new to me. It's actually their body wash. I love it. It's unscented, but it suds really nicely. Oh, it's amazing. Especially if you are someone who is really trying to control odor. I share all the time. I get up early in the morning, 3.45 a.m., 
I work out, I get ready for work by 5.30, and I usually work 12 to 14 hours a day, and Lumi kicks all order aside for me. I'm obsessed, and I'm so, so, so happy to let you guys know that just for my followers, Lumi is giving you a total discount of almost 40% when you order at lumi.deals slash Miranda and enter code Miranda at checkout. I hope you love Lumi as much as I do. They have the cream deodorants, they have them in stick and tube form. Plus make sure to check out all their wipes and body wash as well. You're gonna love Lumi, I know it. So go check out the link in my description box. I thought we'd do a quick check-in day one. Um, now that the days are over, I feel like I can kind of talk you through this. So while I'm getting ready here real quickly this morning, I did want to say that I did have my normal coffees and I'll show you my coffee and my tea. On this first day, I did not. And I always feel like the first day I'm the most conducive to the plan. Like I follow it as much as I possibly can, as closely as I can. But moving forward, I always feel like I adapt based on how I feel. So this next meal I am sharing is cooked apples with rice and I did warm it up. I had this for a late lunch and I had this twice this day, if I remember correctly. So I didn't limit myself to how much I was eating. I just kind of ate whenever I was hungry, but I will say rice makes me so full, like not because it's a lot of food, but because it's a lot of volume and rice is just a filling thing for me. And I kind of got tired of it. But I still feel very thankful that I can choose to do these challenges, that I have nice, healthy food, I have the means to purchase these items, and it's really fun for me to try different things. And I know these challenges aren't for everyone. Hopefully, you'll just get a little bit of entertainment out of watching me enjoy, you know, some rice for a few days. So here is the rice smoothie. This was so good. This will actually probably become a staple for me. And that's also something I like about these challenges is I'll make something and love it so much that I'll eat it again and again and again. So I did about half a cup of rice, about half of kind of a thawed frozen banana and some orange juice. It was so creamy, so delicious. I highly recommend trying this as a smoothie. It was really good. Uh, like kind of an orange Julius kind of thing. And I ended up having one of these every single day for the three days as kind of like a nighttime dessert. It was just really good. This could be really good like frozen as like a mock ice cream too if you wanted to add some more bananas and kind of thicken it up. And then like I said, I decided to do like a warm rice. Most of my rice was eaten warm, but I decided that would be really satisfying at night. So I did cook up two cups of rice and had that with some dill seasoning on the top. And that was dinner for day one and I believe the next two days as well. livestrong.com this is the rice diet and like I said I'm just doing phase one which is supposed to be the first day the reason I'm not doing the rest of the days is because I don't personally eat dairy yes I could substitute for like a non-dairy milk product but I don't typically eat those every so often I might have a coconut milk yogurt which I do typically about once or twice a month and I have some on hand right now but I don't do the rest of it if you break it down into sequence. So I thought I'll just do day one for three days. I'm kind of making my own plant-based version. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Miranda, if you haven't gathered that by now, and I follow a high-carb plant-based diet. So this is not super extreme for me, but if you're coming from a standard American diet, this would seem very odd and maybe a little bit extreme. So phase one is da -da 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 -da, rice and fruit for one day, but like I said, I'm doing it for three days. And I have a plethora of fruit and rice to 
have and I'll probably run into the store for more fruit who knows I have some frozen fruit on hand I'm not limiting myself to calories they make sure to say in the live strong post to have at least 1200 calories a day I mean duh <laughs> typically I eat between 21 and 2200 calories a day I will link a video up here if you want to see a normal what I eat in a day with calories included that I posted just a couple of weeks ago but that in a jest is what I am doing for the next few days and it should be super simple and easy to follow. I am fairly busy the next few days, so I'm actually going to meal prep using the groceries I just showed you, and that way I have things prepped ahead because when it comes down to following something for either a little bit of time or a lot of bit of time or it's new to you, the best thing you can do is meal prep for yourself so everything is ready to go. So that's what we're gonna get into. Let's go meal prep. Meal prepping is such a valuable tool let me know down below what's your favorite thing to meal prep. Obviously, it doesn't have to be something extreme like three days worth of rice, which by the way, this wasn't three days worth of rice, but I got my little mini kettle cooker going. I love this thing for boiling water. It takes like one minute and we're good to go. I love it. So I decided to do the oven rice, super simple. I can link a recipe down below for it if you've never tried it. I like it because they don't have to really babysit it. Sometimes stovetop rice, you kind of have to be present to you know, watch it boil, turn it to low, yada, yada, yada. I mean, it's not that much work, but the nice thing about stove, or excuse me, oven rice versus stovetop rice is you can just stick it in your oven and then walk away in 22 months, 22 months, oh my goodness, 22 months for rice. 22 minutes later, you have perfect rice. So I decided to do a peach bake rice and it was really good. I think a banana creamy milk over the top of this would have made it even so much better. I've shared that recipe a few times where I take a banana, a little bit of water, mix it in a blender, and it makes like a banana milk. Pour that over this instead of the water. Ooh, it would be so creamy and luscious. Super, super good. And then the other pan I just left as plain rice so I could just kind of have that on hand. I didn't eat all of this in the first day, which is kind of what I anticipated but you'll see, I'll show all three days of what I ate and kind of give you an idea of kind of how I broke down my meals. But I loved having stuff planned ahead because then if I was in a hurry, I had stuff ready to go. And I knew my next few days after this one were going to be, you know, kind of busy and I knew what my schedule was. So going into this, I was like, okay, if I can meal plan and just have a game plan, I can figure this out over the next three days. And I'll kind of give you some insight as we go through what I eat each and every day how the days went for me. Take a guess and leave me a comment down below <laughs> how you thought they went for me. Yes, I do want to just say really quickly that basically the fiber from this diet is very, very low. So that's why you're supposed to do it the, the first part for one day. But this specific style diet, I know people that have done this for like gut repair, gut health, or have had issues so it's kind of like an elimination diet kind of, but I don't give nutritional advice. I don't give what you should eat, how much you should eat, anything like that. I just know I like to have fun with my food. I like to give myself challenges. My mental health is stable where I can do that. If you have issues with food, obviously you know yourself better than I do. So just be aware and alert when you remove a lot of food from your diet, you can kind of be OCD about it, if you know what I mean. So here's what I prepped. Some apples. Oh my gosh, the apples were so good. Some peaches with some rice, which is so delicious. It might be a little weird of a combo, but rice and fruit, stellar. Every single time I had it, I was like, ooh, this is really good. I mean, I was missing my veggies, but like I said, we'll go over the breakdown of the next three days here in just a minute. Here we are on day two. Now this day I actually worked out as I normally do in the morning fasted. Yesterday I waited to eat one meal. This day I worked out fasted and then I went and got some meals ready because like I said, really, really busy days. I feel like I'm going back and forth in this video and saying that I was happy that I meal prepped, but then also the rice at night was perfection. So if I do this again, I might just not meal prep, if that makes sense. Maybe do it on a time where I'm not so busy, but I went ahead and packed some rice and the cooked apples for my lunch this day and then brought a banana. And then I also took the time to make sure I made the perfect cup of coffee. Cause like I said, I did include coffee and tea um, throughout the last two days. Now 
now that it is getting a little bit chilly here, I am loving some hot coffee in the mornings and I just do it in my percolator. I do have an espresso, but I don't use it that often anymore. Um, I just percolate some coffee and then put some nut pods in with it and it's so good. I've been getting different flavors of nut pods. And then later this day, I ran to the grocery store to get more fruit. I picked up some regular apples to eat because the other apples were so good, but I just really wanted like a crispy, crunchy apple. Um, so I picked up a couple of Granny Smith apples, which I believe I forgot to actually film. So I did throw those in at some point throughout the day, but I found the Starbucks oat milk pumpkin spice creamer and didn't try it during this vlog, but really liked it. But this is the creamer I, I was using, the oat creamer from Nut Pods in the Cinnamon Swirl, super good. I need to find the peppermint mocha one, but I definitely allowed myself to have regular coffee. I mean, obviously my diet was pretty limited by choice. I also had a banana this day. And then again at night, I had that rice and I'm just showing you the same clip because I had the exact same thing, but it was like 9.30 at night. And if I'm being honest, I didn't feel like filming it. I was like, I had the same thing the day before. This was really a treat. Honestly, I think even though I really like meal prep, I really like being conscious and thoughtful for myself and being kind to myself and having things prepared, I really do like fresh food the best. I mean, who doesn't? So day three, I decided to do tea this day, and this is way later in the morning. And this day actually worked out at night. So we had three different workouts. We had the afternoon one after I'd eaten one time, the fasted workout, and then the later in the day workout. And the later in the day workout was actually the best. I was kind of just going off my energy. And it was really on day two, when I purchased the Granny Smith apples at the store, that I was like, I really don't want to eat rice. And I sometimes make it like the decision of the fact like, well, you committed to this knowing you would be eating rice for three days. So what can you do to help yourself out? And really it was just buying a couple of Granny Smith apples. And I don't do these videos thinking that I'm going to be miserable. I do them thinking I'll really, really enjoy it. But rice, I don't know if I'll ever do the rice thing again, but this tea is fantastic. Green tea with a lemon ginger, so good. Again, it was like a little bit chilly this morning. And then I just had a banana with my tea, something really quick. It was later in the day. I was feeling really good. And then after that, I decided to take this entire pan of peach rice with me to work. And I just had this in three separate meals. So this is a lot of food. <laughs> it's like five cups of rice total, a bunch of peaches. Like I said, a banana would have been really good with that. But then I had another smoothie. This was really good. I will definitely be adding these smoothies into my life. I just actually had one today and it's been a few weeks since I filmed this video. Okay, so you saw the last three days in a nutshell, what I ate, what I meal prepped, my workout. I don't think I checked in with days two and three of my workouts. I just did a 30 minute run and that was it because I only do three weight, three weight training sessions a week. My runs were fantastic. I had so much energy, but there's a couple things I did notice. Midday, I really needed like a snack. I was tired of rice and I couldn't wait for dinner so I could have like a warm bowl of rice because that really did help. Meal prepping helped, but honestly, I think if I were to do it again, I almost wouldn't meal prep because the warm rice was so satisfying. This one I actually struggled with the most of all my challenges I've ever done because I really just wanted vegetables and something different. Um, when it came to the oatmeal, eating seven days of oatmeal for a week, I did oatmeal, fruit, and veggies, and I feel like I soared. When I did potatoes, it was potatoes and greens, like more of a Mary's mini, and I soared. But this one I really struggled with because I was not getting as creative with my meals. So I think if I were to do it again, I would definitely add greens. Um, because I think that would just help really satisfy me. But overall, I don't think the last three days were bad. I just didn't love it as much as I normally do when I challenge myself. But hey, I tried it. I mean, I liked it. I had great energy. I do really notice that I do have that midday slump and it's probably because I do get up fairly early. So even though I'm rested, even though I'm high energy, I look forward to my afternoon snack, which is typically like a homemade protein bar or a really big potato with chili. And I think some of those things are just like life favorables that like I really like out of my life. I don't know. But 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you were entertained. Please do not forget to check out Lumi, which is linked down below. Use my code Miranda and you can save about 40%, which is insane. They give you guys such an amazing discount. Check them out. I've been using them for about a year and I really, really enjoy them. And I was so happy when they wanted to partner with me on today's video. But I will see you next week in some brand new videos. Let me know down in the comments below, should I do another challenge in the month of November? And if you have an idea of what I should do, let me know down below. Someone actually sent me an Instagram message today and asked me to do like a low carb plant-based challenge. I haven't eaten low carb in years. So I'll think about that. I always do the high carb, high, high starchy, um, you know, potatoes, oats, rice, etc. So going like low carb, would be really interesting. If you're interested in that, let me know. Again, I just do these challenges for fun, just for me, just to get creative with my food, just to see how I can thrive eating, you know, one starch. And of course, I always notice, like I said, my workouts are fabulous because I'm eating just all of this starch at once and my body's fed and as an endurance athlete, like it's something I really prefer, but I was actually really happy to see that my weight training workout was really great as well. But there you have it. There's my last three days of eating the rice diet. Would I do this again? Probably not in this layout of just fruits and just rice because I mean, I do like a little bit more variety, but overall it wasn't too bad. I wasn't super miserable. I enjoy it because I know I feel really thankful that I have the means to eat healthy, to purchase the foods that I want, and to do these types of challenges. So overall, not too bad. But anyways, I will see you next week in a brand new video. Bye-bye.